Namaskaram, everyone. And first of all, thank you to the wonderful host of the day for giving me such a beautiful introduction. Aquaponics. Now, everything about aquaponics A to Z in the next few minutes. You all know our world is sad. It's lo it looks something like this. Now, as much of a kiddish picture I might have put up, but this is the sad reality. And looking at our world from an environmental point of view, it is really going through a tough time. And one of the main, for the lack of a better word, culprit behind this is a process which is so important for our, for our existence. The process is agriculture. Now, before you all turn your ever cute and smiling faces into something which looks like this, which will pop up right now, this. And you come rushing at me that, how dare you blame agriculture for what's happening? I agree with you 100% that agriculture is super important for our existence. But just hear me out. The problem isn't with agriculture. It is with the traditional way in which agriculture is practiced. And that is why I want to talk to you about a relatively newer concept of agriculture. Newer when it is compared to the Bharatiya field of farming and agriculture. The process is aquaponics. This. A really simple structure and the logic is also super, super simple. Now, why aquaponics? What's so special in aquaponics? Let's talk about this word, aqua plus ponics. Aqua means water and ponics is to grow. So aquaponic, what it really means is to grow plants right out of water. But then how is this any different from hydroponics? One main concern is that aquaponics is much, much more organic as compared to hydroponics. And this is because hydroponics requires, although the same system or a similar system, but they, it requires additional nutrients to be added. And that part is totally eliminated when it comes to aquaponics. I'll come to that later. Also, aquaponics gives us a perfect blend between hydroponics and aquaculture. Aquaculture is the good old method of rearing and breeding fish. And hydroponics is a sustainable way of farming, but albeit with a debatable degree of external nutrients added. So a simple figure explains it all. Fish plus plants equals a happy earth, unlike the one we saw earlier. So at the very core of aquaponics is the process which we know as a nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen cycle is as simple as this gets. I, I'll explain it to you in the most layman language I can. So fish release ammonia in water. This can be from their respiratory activities, this can be from their waste or anything. And ammonia is highly toxic for the fish. But there is a solution. We have a bacteria named nitrosomonas. It takes up the ammonia and converts it into nitrite. But the sad part comes again. Nitrite is even more toxic for the fish, more than ammonia. But then again, we have a solution. Nitrobacter. Nitrobacter takes up nitrates and converts it into nitrate. Nitrites and takes, converts it into nitrates. And this nitrate is used up by the plants. So in a way, we can see that plants have used up the harmful ammonia from the fish's water and gives it back to the fish. Now, how does this work? So this is the equipment needed. We need a fish tank, of course. We need media beds to grow our plants in. We need a biofilter. A biofilter can be made up of any substance like gravels or maybe hydroponic substrate. The idea is that we need to give a porous and as much area as possible for our bacteria, nitrosomonas and nitrobacter to survive. We need water pumps to pump the water right up to the media beds. We need an electricity source, obviously, and a water heater or a cooler, or maybe both, living on what, based on what region you are living in. Now, the process is really simple. Water gets pumped up right from the fish tank in the media beds above. The water is used up by the plants and it comes down via simple gravity back into the fish tank and the cycle keeps on going. So what happens is that plants can positively use the toxic water of the fish and they give back the fish instead clear and clean water in which they can survive. Now why aquaponics? Why do we need to shift from our conventional agricultural method to aquaponics? Some really simple points. First and foremost, aquaponics is a lot more organic as compared to our conventional agricultural methods. This is because we are not adding any external nutrients. What all comes is from the waste of the fish. Secondly, with the help of aquaponics, we can grow plants all year long, all year around. And this is because 
we are doing this in a controlled environment and they're getting constant nutrition. Thirdly, it saves water. Aquaponics is said to save approximately 90% water. So where on one hand, a normal agricultural practice may take up 100 liters of water, when we shift to aquaponics, it takes up only around 10 liters of water. So that is the difference. And imagine if you multiply this into a commercial scale. Fourth is faster growth. This is simply because of the constant nutrition that the plants keep on getting, and also the constant filtered water and healthy water which the fish are also getting. Now why is fish getting healthy water important? This is because of my fifth point. Aquaponics splits the streams of income of the farmer into two. One is of course the plants and vegetables which are grown on the media beds, and second is the fish which are used for the aquaponic systems can also be used in a commercial market. So that was pretty much it and I thought that aquaponics is unfortunately a relatively newer concept in Bharat, but then it has to be spread around with like-minded people like you all and seeing you all sitting here, not just the speakers list, but also the audience which are eagerly listening to each and every one of us, I'm really hopeful that things can go in a positive way. So that was all for my time and you have been a wonderful audience. Thank you so much.